Hello. Hello. And it's us again, and again, and again, and again. We're here a lot now. Talking about Volcanic Isle. Yes, from Arcane Wonders. I was pretty excited to play this game. Yeah, like, I've only got it because they've sort of announced somewhere that they're looking for reviewers. So it's like, yeah, I want to see what it is about. It looks cool. The cover sort of reminds me of Spirit Island. Like I the think logo. it's the same artist who did the artwork for this. You think? Spirit, I, I think it is. It looks very reminiscent. Yeah. So you you were excited. Are you I was still excited, excited after you played well, it. because I, I like I liked the 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 idea of an of an island, a volcanic island, and um, and it's all kind of slowly disappearing over the course of the game as it kind of sinks back into the sea, and um, you've got these great little miniature pieces of these kind of stone head statues in your little villages. What are they called again? Moai? Maui? The, the, Ma the Maui or something. I can never tell what it is. I can't remember how they, There's it. like even the little people have like funky hair and stuff and there's little cottages with like little doors in it. Yeah. Uh, so th these, these miniatures are actually surprisingly good for what is essentially an abstract strategy game. Yeah. Um, gives like adds to the theme of an abstract game, which is good. Yeah. The, these volcanoes are made of that very kind of uh, thin plastic, like yeah. um, think uh, what's it? The, what's the one with the Fireball Island? That Fireball Island. Yeah. That one. <laughs> that kind of style of plastic. So you could actually stack all the volcanoes on top of each other, and they don't take up much space. Yeah. Um, but so, what yeah. is the game? The game is an abstract strategy, as you said. Is it two to four players? It is two to four players. Um, and you are using the lava from the volcanoes to build, to raise Maui, 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 um, to build them on the board, to then block the craters, to then cause the volcanoes maybe to erupt, to then cause... Um, Fishes to... It's got a fissure? Like a fish? A fissure. Like a fissure? I don't know what it's called. So you call... You, you cause these things that we just... Yes. And um, if any part of an island gets disconnected from the yeah. mainland, it just falls off, disappears, and you lose everything that was on it, unless you've got prayer tokens, and you can also save one person for free. So if this was disconnected here, boink boink, this would all fall. And anything that's on this bed will just go away. Apart, yeah. apart from the one person that had to kind of jump on the other land. Um, and these give you points. Building villages give you points. And building, but you can only build a village in the space that used to have um, lava. So lava is your building blocks. Yeah. All these things are made out of uh, lava stone, essentially. Um, but then building close to a volcano is obviously bad because if the volcano erupts, which is all random because you roll the die, it may or may not erupt, and then you yeah. choose those little token things. So you've got these tokens with the number of each volcano on. That's that how randomizes. it's all decided what's going on, so yeah. And the volcano might not even erupt. You roll a dice every time the volcano might erupt, you roll the dice. It erupts. <laughs> I mean, this is a very simple dice. Basically, four sides of volcano erupts, and two sides or it doesn't. So, the yeah. So the, but the main premise is to just get as many points as you can whilst you can. Yes. And the game ends when there is only two or fewer volcanoes left on the island, and then you score additional points for whatever's left on that yeah. tile. So, so you want to have most stuff on that final bit of the island but you never know really where the final bit is going to be no. because you are trying to make this bit your final bit while someone else is trying to cut you yeah. off so yeah you want to be trying to cut off your your opponents but to cut them off you need to be building things along the edge of that rift as well mm. so it could very easily go the other way and you end up cutting your getting cut off yourself because your opponent uh, takes the, the other direction so it's a good amount of strategy in there's, it. yeah there's a lot of forward kind of thinking and trying to do out what your opponents um the good thing is that you've got all four actions so there's not like variable things you all have four actions that you're in your turn it's an action point selection game um, yeah, like the old weird. school 
What, what was that old where you built the temples? Um, to Cal. To Cal. Oh, yeah, that yeah, kind yeah, of old yeah, school yeah. kind of yeah. like, okay, well, most actions cost one action point, but there are some that cost two. And once you've spent all four, your, your turn's over. So yeah. you can spend how you want. So, um, yeah, I mean. The, so there is a way of mitigating luck, i.e., you buy these prayer oh, yeah. tokens. But um, to buy the prayer tokens, they're getting more expensive the more of them you've got. So the first one costs you yeah. one, no, two. So if you one, no, if, one, then the second one costs yeah. you two, the third one costs you three, and so on. So yeah. yeah. So if you want to store up loads of these to keep yourself super protected, it's going to cost you lots of action points, probably to your detriment. Yeah. So it's probably best to only get one, just on the off chance a very important village or thing is going to get destroyed by the lava. You're like, no, I'm going to spend my prayer thing to save that village because that mm. was really important to my strategy um, yeah so there is there is a way of mitigating that random luck of which volcano is going to explode oh no it was the one where i invested everything in well if you're scared about that get these so yeah. i like that um so i we've only played it two player yeah. just a disclaimer um i mean this is called two player only so we played it two player it's i i struggle to think how it works with four players it's um, probably super busy well you can topple over some people's more like can you not yeah i, th I think it's going to be super chaotic with yeah. more players um probably less strategic and more just kind of like crazy which might be more fun um yeah. depending on who you're playing with but if you if not if you if you want to play like a strategy game i think it's probably best played at two yeah um I mean, the island is pretty big, maybe three players, if you all start at different corners, could work, okay. Mm -hmm. But four just sounds like chaos, really. Yeah. Um, um, so what do we not like about it? I'll start with the volcanoes. Yeah. I'm not a fan of those volcanoes. They are, they feel really cheap. And the picture, the, the, the printing on them, I don't know how it's just screen printed, I don't know what it's called, just basically this, this picture taken from a token, just that's stretched down. Stretched to the volcano. It just looks so cheap. Um, They've got like you can, you can see the marks on it. You can see the stretch marks. It's yeah. like I don't. Mm. I, fr from a distance, you, you they look fine. But if 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 you're inspecting them up close, compared to the artwork around them on everything, compared to the artwork on these tokens, they don't look as good as they could. Yeah. Um, the artwork's if, pretty generic. If as you're well. in, if you're into painting, you could always paint up the volcanoes to make totally them look weird. better. But then the problem is they might not fit in with the art style, yeah. depending on how you want to paint them. Um, I mean, they fit over the things quite well. Yeah. If you don't put the island on top of them, they sort of they there like that. Yeah. But then you're gonna think, what? Well, what's the alternative? The alternative is either they either they don't have three D volcanoes, which I think would make it less kind of mm -hmm. visually appealing, uh, or they had like, well, I I don't I don't know what it would take to have a really high quality printing on a three D thing like this. Yeah, well, like it'll be super heavy as well, probably if there was um, any any more plastic in there. I mean, they're not bad. It's just not they're not great. Yeah. Move to nitpick something about the visuals. Um, these are okay. Yes, um, they they're very durable, chunky plastic. They they do you know they remind me of they used to be, what were they called Shopkins, or something? They were like little little things you were collecting or different like monsters or something. Oh yes, I remember. And they are th this this is sort of reminds me of that. And they're good quality. I mean, they're not great again because they still have this bit of plastic that was supposed to be. Oh, the, the mold off. lines, yeah. Yeah, like I, I think mean, I think for a game like this, that yeah, for what it is, forgiven. It's great. Um, the point token just yeah. makes me laugh. It's just this. This is your scoring token. I think it's supposed to be like a volcano, but it has no wow, texture. It looks like it. a little hat. Okay. Um, I th uh, other things don't like. Well, one. I mean, you're not massively into abstract strategy games anyway. It's not no. Really I mean, I enjoyed it. It's super mean. Yes. And that's why I don't <laughs> like. I just don't like mean games. But for people who do like mean, mean games and abstract strategy games, this is a great game. Yeah. Because a, it's got a theme that works. Yes. It's not a theme that's just been put on it to just to make the game. Hey, this is a game about I don't know cats and boxes. It's not. But it, it works. 
Like it makes thematic sense. Thematically, yeah. The the island the island is sinking. Like volcanic islands do do sink. Yeah. Uh, and you're actually using the lava stone to create these stone things. Uh, that actually works as well. But the lava can destroy your villages, which yeah. works as well. So yeah, it's yeah, it makes all great sense. Um, it's it's a thinky game for a two player game. It's, it's not. A, you have to be thinking what your opponent wants to do. It's not like you're just placing your things. Because if you focus on your stuff only, which I, what I was doing, then they're just going to outsmart you and cut you off. Yes. And you're going to lose a lot. So you do have to be like paying attention to what your opponents may want to do and sort of think ahead. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's... Def definitely, it's for someone who likes abstract strategy games and doesn't mind games where it might be a bit mean. Um, a bit, a yes. bit mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm just going to section off all your villages there in the scene. And you did. Okay. I mean, yeah, you like the soul games, so... I quite, I quite like it. This is more for you than for me, definitely. Um, but it's language independent, which is great, because this is maybe something my dad would play. Yeah, your dad would love this. Um, it's okay quality. It's not like mind blowing, but it's all right. I mean, the looking at the box, I was super excited. Looking at this, nah. I I I, I think I think for what it is, I think it's really good quality. It's just the printing on the volcanoes could have been a little bit better. That's my only. It's mm. my only complaint. And this. Well, I this mean, is this is linen finish. I I think games need to do more of these because the problem with having a cardboard big piece of cardboard is that depending on humidity they they tend to bend. Yeah. So something like this doesn't bend and it's durable. That sort of it feels like it's waterproof. Well, it's yeah. Probably not, but you know. So, but the, the, the something on the side, like just a uh, picture. It would be nice to have a picture on the back. But, I mean, but, you're not yeah. looking at the back. But yeah, I, to be honest, I, I quite I think games going to be doing more of that. I games. find one more thing about this is a little bit fiddly when it comes to these lava things, to like put them where they're meant to be and then not to miss something at the setup, and then when the volcano erupts and then like when they say oh when you don't notice that something's been cut off something happens whatever so it's just like there's it, a lot to look at and there's small pieces. So some people may, may be like, you know, it's not very out there that you can see what's going on, but I mean... Yeah, they've gone for less of a functional visual aesthetic and more of a kind of a nice looking visual aesthetic. Because mm -hmm. basically lava can only be built in these little grooves on in the yeah. landscape, um, which d depending on what your, your vision's like, you might miss one. Mm -hmm. there, there are two down here, for example. You, you might not even see uh, if you're sitting on the other side of that volcano. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I think you should be able to tell if it's your kind of game or not. Really, mm. it's, it's it's really your kind of game. It's not really my kind of game. I think. No, but um, I mean, you. you but for what, what it, it is, is yeah. yeah. For what it is, yeah. If I was into mean strategy games, I would be all up for it. But because I'm not, I still give it a thumb yeah. and a half because it is a good game. This yeah. is not for me. Yeah, I'll give it a thumb and a half as well. Three thumbs out of four. Not bad. There we go. There Volcanic, we go. Volcanic Isle. Volcanic Isle. Bye.